Welcome to Question with Answer, your go-to channel for interview preparation. In this video, we'll cover the top 10 Fast API interview questions and answers for 2025. Fast API has become one of the most popular Python frameworks for building high-performance APIs, and mastering it is a must for developers. These questions will help you prepare for interviews and boost your confidence. Let's get started. Question 1. What is Fast API, and why is it popular? Answer. Fast API is a modern, high-performance web framework for building APIs with Python 3.7 plus based on standard Python type hints. It is popular because of its speed, developer-friendly design, and automatic interactive API documentation with Swagger UI and Redoc. Unlike Flask or Django, Fast API uses async I.O. for handling concurrent requests efficiently, making it highly scalable. Its built-in validation, serialization, and type hinting reduce boilerplate code, improving development speed. Companies prefer Fast API for microservices and data-driven applications, making it a strong choice in interviews. Question 2. How does Fast API differ from Flask and Django? Answer. Fast API focuses on API-first development, whereas Flask and Django are more general-purpose frameworks. Flask is lightweight but lacks built-in validation and async support. Django is a full-stack framework with ORM, templates, and admin, but it's heavier for simple APIs. Fast API, on the other hand, is optimized for performance with async-slash-await, automatic data validation using Pydantic, and interactive API documentation. It also enforces Python type hints, which improves code reliability and readability. While Django suits large web applications and Flask is flexible for small projects, Fast API is the go-to choice for high-performance REST APIs and microservices. Question 3. What role does Pydantic play in Fast API? Answer. Pydantic is at the core of FastAPI's data validation and serialization. It allows developers to define data models using Python classes and type hints, which FastAPI then uses to validate request and response bodies automatically. For example, when a client sends JSON data, Pydantic ensures the data matches the expected types, raising validation errors if not. It also helps convert data into Python objects seamlessly. This reduces manual parsing and error handling. Pydantic ensures clean, validated, and type-safe data, making fast API applications more robust and maintainable. This integration is one of fast API's biggest advantages over frameworks like Flask. Question 4. What is dependency injection in fast API? Answer. Dependency injection or DI in Fast API allows you to manage reusable logic such as authentication, database connections, or configuration. Instead of writing repetitive code, you define dependencies as functions and inject them into route handlers. Fast API automatically resolves these dependencies at runtime. For example, a function that retrieves a database session can be defined once and reused across multiple routes. This improves code reusability, modularity, and testability. Interviewers expect you to highlight that FastAPI's dependency injection system is simple yet powerful, making it ideal for handling cross-cutting concerns like security, caching, and logging. Question 5. How does FastAPI handle asynchronous programming? Answer. FastAPI is built on top of Starlet, for the web parts, and Pydantic, for data validation, which natively support async await. This allows Fast API to handle concurrent requests efficiently, making it ideal for I.O. bound operations like database queries, file processing, or external API calls. By using async functions, Fast API doesn't block the event loop, enabling the server to process thousands of requests concurrently. This is a key advantage over synchronous frameworks like Flask. In interviews, emphasize that FastAPI's async support improves scalability, 
responsiveness, and performance, especially for real-time or high-traffic applications. Question 6. How do you secure APIs in Fast API? Answer. Fast API provides built-in support for security mechanisms such as OAuth 2, JWT authentication, API keys, and basic authentication. It has a fastapi.security module that simplifies implementing authentication flows. For example, you can use OAuth 2 password bearer with JWT tokens to secure endpoints. FastAPI's dependency injection system integrates well with security, ensuring authentication and authorization logic can be reused across routes. Additionally, FastAPI automatically generates secure, interactive login flows in Swagger UI. In interviews, mention that best practices include using HTTPS, hashing passwords, and securing tokens. Security is one of the strongest built-in features of FastAPI. Question 7. How does FastAPI generate API documentation automatically? Answer. FastAPI uses OpenAPI standards to automatically generate interactive documentation. When you define routes, request bodies, and responses using Pydantic models, FastAPI generates Swagger UI, slash docs, and Redoc, slash Redoc endpoints by default. These docs allow developers to test APIs directly in the browser without extra setup. Since FastAPI leverages Python type hints, the documentation includes field types, constraints, and validation rules automatically. This saves time and ensures accurate, up-to-date API documentation. Employers often test whether candidates understand that this feature reduces communication overhead between developers, testers, and API consumers. Question 8. Can Fast API be used with databases? If yes, how? Answer. Yes, Fast API supports databases, but it does not provide an ORM by default. Developers can integrate ORMs like SQL Alchemy, Tortoise ORM, or Geno. SQL Alchemy is the most common choice, especially when combined with async support via async. With dependency injection, database sessions can be managed cleanly across routes. FastAPI also integrates well with Alembic for migrations. For NoSQL databases, MongoDB can be used with libraries like Motor. Interviewers expect you to explain how FastAPI's flexibility allows seamless database integration while keeping the framework lightweight and modular. Question 9. How do background tasks work in FastAPI? Answer. FastAPI provides built-in support for background tasks via background tasks from Fastapi. This feature is useful when you need to run operations after returning a response, such as sending emails, logging, or updating analytics. The client doesn't wait for these tasks, improving user experience. For heavy workloads, you can integrate Fast API with task queues like Celery or RQ for distributed background processing. In interviews, emphasize that background tasks help keep APIs responsive and efficient, making Fast API suitable for real-world production use cases like notification systems and asynchronous logging. Question 10. How do you deploy a Fast API application in production? Answer. Fast API applications are commonly deployed using Uvicorn or Hypercorn as ASGI servers. For production-grade deployments, Fast API is often run behind a reverse proxy like Nginx or Traffic, with process managers like Unicorn, with Uvicorn workers. Containerization with Docker is also widely used, making scaling easier with orchestration tools like Kubernetes. Cloud providers such as AWS, GCP, and Azure support fast API deployment through serverless platforms or managed Kubernetes services. Interviewers expect you to discuss security hardening, scaling, and monitoring as key aspects of production deployment. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for more content. So you don't miss any upcoming video. And, if you have any questions or topics, 
you'd like us to cover in future videos. Please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.